Hello and welcome to Aftersound Review and this is my review from a product from Queen of Audio, somehow sister company from Kinera. This is the KOA Gymlet. So just like usual, I will break down this review from the build, fit, frequency response, sound, and comparison. And by the way, this KOA Gymlet costs around $60 and using a single dynamic driver and for me, they look amazing. One thing that I always think that the key OA always nails is how they look. The aesthetic is just amazing. Honestly, I don't really know. I'm not really sure what the what is the material of the housing, but it it at first glance it feels like a ceramic. It looks like a polished plastic but with some kind of heaviness on it. It feels kind of heavy so it gives a premium feeling to this product with this somehow goldish accent and trust me this emerald green may not really good in my camera but for me it just well it just really looks amazing in the reality. Well the filter itself is also looking quite unique like this. It's using a two pin connectors the cable itself is twisted. For me, it's just another great looking I am. Not only how they look, but they also feel great in my ears. I really feel that the ergonomics is just nice and I could wear them for hours without feeling any discomfort or any sharp edges that touch my ear. I just really can use them well, even though this, they're a little bit heavy on hand, but when using them, they just disappear. The tonal of this item could be described as simple V-shape with emphasis mostly on the base area and also the upper mid-range. And after that, the treble is actually a bit rolled off in the middle treble area, but it has a raise in around 15k, so it does give just a little bit sense of air, even though the treble itself is actually relaxed. The base of this item is definitely not neutral. It is emphasized and it gives a sense of good punch and fun to any song that you give it also have nice impact and speed for it but i do not think that this is enough for bass head in terms of the sheer quantity alone but for me for any kind of song it just gives a nice kind of punch it's a very versatile kind of bass and also i'm i really see that this item is also using an lcp lcp P driver diaphragm for its dynamic driver and somehow this LCP driver IEMs always this has kind of soft and smooth kind of impact to it so the base itself even though it is punchy but it also have this kind of soft edge that might be not for everyone but personally I actually find it uh, quite unique and just simply fun and easy to listen to. Going to the mid-range, I feel that this IM has more emphasis on the upper mid-range rather than the lower mid-range and it definitely gives you an emphasis more on the female rather than male vocal. And also again, like I said, somehow the IM that is using a CP diaphragm I feel that there's something uh, unique texture about it and that's what I feel from this uh, QA Gimlet 2. I feel that the upper mid-range even though it's forward and more suitable for female vocals, I feel that there's a smoothness texture to it so it's really addicting to hear a female vocal from this I am. For example, I have heard some female vocals like Joyce Chu or even some uh, female vocal from Korea like IU or Taeyeon. I feel that all of those female vocals really shine on this IM. But for male vocals, I do think that this IM lacks some mid-range warmthness and simply mid-range presence to make male vocals sounds full-bodied. It's just more suitable for female vocal here. The treble itself is actually on the smooth side too. Uh, if you take a look at the frequency response, it's mostly kind of rolled off in a mid treble section. So when I'm hearing cymbals and also some uh, percussion music, I feel that it's not forward enough, it's not brilliant enough, but I don't find it too dark either maybe it has to some air around 15k uh, this i am i do feel there are some airiness to it even though 
I feel that the notes are not defined enough in the treble section. But nevertheless, it is a smooth treble presentation without being too dark. Oh, for the tonality alone, I find this I am to be a quite fun sounding I am with smooth texture to it. Somehow reminds me of the Tin T3 Plus, the smoothness texture of it. But this one is more targeted towards female vocal, especially because of that upper mid-range forwardness. And for that reason, I recommend this I am to those who like female vocals. If you have uh, some male vocals track like Il Divo or Josh Groban that has really deep low voice, I don't think that this I am will give you enough amount of lower at mid range for that male vocalist. But for a female vocal, it's just really nice and addicting it, it i really need to share this that it is really a unique presentation for a female vocal especially with that smooth texture to it but for any other than that i don't feel that this i am is really in a versatile or super all-rounder kind of i am okay now going to the technical this actually i do find this i am at 60 dollar price point to be not Special. I mean, there are a lot of items that I consider to be great at even $50 and below. For example, like the Aegis on Hard Mirror definitely edges out in terms of technicality compared to this QA Gymlet, also even the KZ AS16 Pro, and also the Tin T2 DLC or even the Tin C2 that costs around $35. I find that that item is actually on the same level of resolution and just a little bit uh, more airier even in the treble section. So, simply say, the SIM in terms of resolution and detail alone, it's not really competent enough. It's not really competitive at this price point. But in terms of sound stage, I do feel that it has uh, somehow a little bit of 3D-ness to it, but not a lot of wideness. So yeah, this IM, for me, it's not for everyone especially if you are seeking for details if you are looking for a really basic kind of performance or if you are looking for a full-bodied male vocal you will not get this but this item is more on the spatial side it's more on the niche market maybe if you are if you have a lot of female vocalists on your on your playlist maybe this item could be one of my recommendation at $60 price point because of that uniqueness. But if you are looking for something else, there are there are more options out there. Now comparing them with the similar looking frequency response from the Tin T3 Plus, I do feel that the Tin T3 Plus in my own personal uh, experience in real life, I do feel that the Tin T3 Plus is just a tad more fuller sounding with more sub bass presence and also somehow the male vocal is more full sounding here with more subdued treble here so it's somehow making it more suitable for for, for me for more generous but with less uh, treble presence that's making the QA gymlet somehow sounds more brilliant it has more shine in the mid-range for female vocal and also with that treble air in 15k i do feel that it is sounds more airier and more suitable for female vocal so those two are actually good and kind of similar in a way but if you love male vocal maybe the tnt true plus will suit you a little bit better but for female vocal i do still think that the qoa gymlet is just simply better so in the end i feel that this qoa gymlet is more kind of specialized kind of i am it's not really all-rounder or very resolving in in any kind of way it's more specialized towards female vocal and this is one of the best recommendations I could give you at this price point. And this is my final score for its tonal. Well, this is my score for its technical and this is my overall final rank. Well, just like usual, my rank could be changed with the advancements of technology or simply change with my benchmark. And if you are interested in looking at the score, you could see in my a ranking list in the description below and that's all i could say about this i am thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this review and see you next time bye bye